To Thee we come, O Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We will go unto the altar of God. God is Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we might worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now I ask that you please make an examination of your conscience. Having confessed our sins to God and asking for his forgiveness, let us all now recite the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God for your penance for the next three nights, besides saying the Lord's Prayer, the Hail Mary, and the Glory Be, to reflect upon one of the three readings as prescribed by the Church, which appears in our weekly bulletin. <laughs> And now may Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon and absolution and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. 
For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, you are our true teacher, Almighty Father in heaven. Help us to serve you in faithfulness and learn from you humility. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty Father, as we observe the passing of our brothers and sisters into eternal rest. We ask for your grace and blessing. Accept them into your eternal kingdom and bring unto us the consolation of always trusting in your eternal care. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Jimmy, will you please proclaim the word? A reading from the book of the Malachi. A great king am I, says the Lord of hosts, and my name will be feared among the nations. And now, O priest, this commandment is for you. If you do not listen, if you do not lay it to your heart to give glory to my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will send a curse upon you, and your blessing I will make a curse. You have turned aside from the way and have caused many to falter by your instructions. You have made void the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. I therefore have made you contemptible and base before all the people, since you do not keep my ways, but show partiality in your decisions. Have we not all the one Father? Has not the one God created us? Why then do we break faith with one another, violating the covenant of our Father? This is the word of the Lord. Yes, the gradual. Before his downfall, a man's heart is haughty, but humility goes before honor. The fear of the Lord is training for the and humility goes before honor. A reading from the first letter of Paul, the apostle to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we are gentle among you as a nurse and mother cares for her children. With such affection for you, we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but your very selves as well. So dearly beloved, had you become to us, you recall brothers and sisters are told in drudgery, working night and day in order not to burden any of you, we proclaim to you the gospel of God. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly, that is, receiving the word of God from hearing us, you receive not a human word, but that it is truly is the word of God, which is now at work in who believes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Jimmy. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Put on them as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, Cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, 
that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. You, Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their philanthropies and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, Greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called a rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master, for you have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God from the Gospel according to Matthew. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he be dead, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die from the Gospel of John. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, this past week, churches throughout Christendom marked November 1st as All Saints and November the 2nd as the commemoration of All Souls. Life and death. Just as we are all born in the image and the likeness of God, there will be a day in which God calls us back unto Himself. This past Thursday, the names of the faithful departed are read following Holy Mass, 
as the names will be read following today's Holy Mass. Our families, our husbands, our wives, our sisters, our brothers, our friends and family, we remember in prayer. Walking through the cemetery as I blessed the cemetery this past Thursday, so many souls repose in our cemetery. So many brothers and sisters, husbands and wives. And so what do we make of the commemoration of all souls? It is to remind us that it is God alone who created us. We are reminded of this in today's reading from the prophet Malachi. Have we not all the one Father? Has not the one God created us? We are reminded, my brothers and sisters, every time we come to the sacred church, the finality of life and the beginning of our faith which is eternal life. We see in the Gospels of Jesus, not only did he give sight to the blind and hearing to the deaf, not only did he cleanse the lepers and cause the crippled to walk, but there are instances and passages in the New Testament where Jesus had control over life and death. And so as we read the names of our brothers and sisters, may we ever keep to mind that it is our Lord who professed the great I am. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he be dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever lives in me and believes in me shall never die. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, the light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit who was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Please be seated. <laughs> Likewise, you younger members, be subject to the presbyters, and all of you clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble.
sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God of hosts, accept the gifts which we place before you as signs of our love. Transform them and return them to us that we may share in the life of your Son. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, accept these gifts which we offer to you in faith and trust. May this offering unite us with your Son's offering on the cross, which brings to all eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. The whole Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give you thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always it everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Announcing the coming of your kingdom, Christ called his disciples and began his sacred ministry. And empowered by your grace and strength, may we faithfully fulfill the ministry you have given us to our care. Therefore, we he joined this day with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating on, see he singingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly and pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and in unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the Apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. My brothers and sisters, in our prayers, let us pray for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. May we pray for all those who are ill, and give God our thanks for the blessings of doctors and nurses, first responders, and all health care workers. In our deepest prayers, let us pray for all abused and neglected children, all abused and neglected animals, and all those who suffer violence, both here and abroad. May we pray for peace in the Middle East. May we also pray for those who suffer in Ukraine and other parts of our world. May God grant unto the leaders wisdom and insight so that they may come under the banner of love. May we give God our thanks for the blessings of all those who serve in our armed forces and ask Almighty God to keep all protected through his holy angels. And Father, may we also pray for all present here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you 
the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the eternal and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries, and when spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar, into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. We pray this day. Amen. Lord, remember your children who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after the, their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
by whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the mind and example, we say with confidence, Our Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness, may become our safeguard in healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in all of us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will, and may it last enough, unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and art one God forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, those who will not be able to receive sacramentally the Blessed Eucharist, may we pause and offer the prayer of the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you, 
may I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. We will take the bread of heaven, and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul <coughs> to life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me. I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord. Receive the body and the blood of Christ.
of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, grant us, who have shared your holy gifts, a spirit of service, that we may go forth with your love at work within us. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, O merciful God, through this Holy Eucharist, we are united with our Lord Jesus Christ, who rose from the dead. May our prayers offered to you for our brothers and sisters who have passed before us be joined with you in the new Jerusalem. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, and our one God forever and ever. is offered. Please be seated. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity, and grant that the sacrifice which I, though worthy, have offered up and to the side of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may it be effective for myself and for all those for whom we have offered it through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through him all things came into being, and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found the life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the, through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. <coughs> Any who did accept to me empowered to become children of God, these are they who believe in his name, who are begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of an only son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 